What's up, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. My name is Justin Copeland. On this channel, Stay Fresh Productions, we talk about everything fragrance related. If you have an interest in that kind of content, then make sure you subscribe. Hit that button, join the Fresh Squad, enhance, elevate, increase, improve your level of freshness. You will feel it and others will smell it. Normally I would do a little performance, a little musical number to start things off, but I kind of wanted to dive right into this topic here because a fragrance just came in the mail today. Kind of a hot topic just dropped earlier this month. We're talking about Dior Sauvage Elixir. Now really briefly, I have owned Dior Sauvage twice before. I had the Eau de Toilette maybe like five years ago. I wore it a lot. I got bored of it. I got rid of it. Maybe about a year or two later, I got curious about it again. The Eau de Parfum had just dropped, so I bought the Eau de Parfum. I had that maybe less than a year, maybe several months. I was kind of getting bored of that too, kind of in the same vein. Got rid of that as well. I remember trying the Parfum once in store when it came out on my skin. I found it pleasant. I think I found it the most pleasant of the three, but I was not moved enough to buy a bottle. But when this was announced, I had a feeling that it was going to be kind of more of the same, but maybe something richer, maybe something more interesting. So I felt compelled to buy it and it came in. We're going to put it on skin. What I'm going to do is going to give you my first impressions on my skin. Now, if I like it, I'm going to wear it tonight because I have a gig later on this evening. I'll wear it to my performance. I'll come back after the performance and I'll update you guys on what I think about it. If I don't like it, I might just give you my first impressions and that'll be the video. Anyway, let's get right into it. I'm already liking the difference in the box here and the bottle. Man, I never thought I would own Dior Sauvage in any form ever again. I've kind of been curious, but again, not enough to go get it. Different style of bottle here, a little bit stockier. We got this concave bottom here. I like this kind of plaque, so to speak. Still the same colorway, still the same magnetic cap. All right, I'm gonna put it on the forearm here. Still the same great atomizer. Hmm, okay, just letting it come to me. I'm not getting too close to it. On the website, I think they say there's lavender. I think they say there's spices and maybe something else that I can't remember now. I definitely get lavender. It is definitely spicy. This stuff is rich. It's on the sweeter side of things, almost like resinous in a way, <sighs> but that Sauvage DNA is still there. It still has this kind of almost shower gel like freshness, but it's not all that fresh. This is so interesting. It is quite a departure. You can tell the DNA is tucked in there. It's not quite as metallic as the others. So there might be a little bit of Ambroxan in here, but it's not an overload like it was before. I find this interesting. Wow. Yeah, I gotta say, I find it pleasant. I can't say I'm blown away by it, but I do find it pleasant and I'm definitely enjoying it more than the previous iterations. Maybe aside from the Parfum, which I didn't spend a ton of time with, and I actually kind of thought it was okay. Interested to see how this changes. If at all, it may not change very much. Sauvage has usually been a linear scent. This could follow suit with that, but it is different. It is rich, it is dense. I have a feeling it's gonna last a very long time. So. I think it passed the test. I am going to give this a wearing to my gig this evening. I don't know how many sprays I'm gonna do. I'm gonna to try to be careful with it cause it's gonna be warm in this space and I don't wanna choke people out. Yeah, I'll wear this tonight and I will report back with how it does. So I'll see you in a second to give you an update about Dior Sauvage Elixir. Okay, just about to head out. I'm gonna apply this. Again, I'm gonna go a little bit conservative on it. And I think we're gonna go with four sprays. Typically what I like to do with a collared shirt, I'm gonna do my usual one behind each ear, maybe it's like half a spray, I like how it's pressurized. And I like to do one inside the collar on the collarbones. So I got a nice bubble again. I put this on my arm, as you saw, this has been several hours. It's still going pretty strong. So I think this is gonna be with me all night long. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it performs and seeing if it gets any kind of reactions. I will be back. See you very soon. Okay, it is 
10 minutes to 1 a.m. I believe I have been wearing Dior Sauvage Elixir for probably seven hours at this point. I've had it on my arm for longer. I think I've had it on my arm for maybe pushing eight or nine. It's still here pretty strong. And the base, man, they did something special with this. This is not Sauvage. It is, but it's not. I'm getting a lot of vetiver here, but there's a richness. There's like a warm amber, kind of a woody vetiver, but not too sharp which I'm so happy about. The vetiver is not taking over it like vetiver can do. Basically, I can smell it all around me. I was smelling it the whole night, more or less. There's that beautiful sweetness that really does linger here. Oh, it's like kind of creamy sweet. Man, okay, I'm a fan. Just the first wearing, but I'm a fan. Didn't really get any compliments. Grace, I did see Grace, and she actually did give me a compliment, unsolicited. She said, you smell really nice. And she said it again, you smell really nice. I told her what it was and told her what we're doing here. So I, I gotta say, I'm happy to have this. I'm definitely liking it more than the others. This is gonna be a staple for me, at least when it's not too hot. This is not something you wanna wear in the heat. <laughs> it smells really good. It just has an aura to it, it has a vibe. It's put together. It's kind of refined, but at the same time, it's a little bit mysterious. It still carries a bit of that bad boy-ish vibe that you get from the DNA. Is it $155 worth? I'm not gonna say no, but I'm not gonna say yes either. I think it smells wonderful. I'm happy I have it. I'm not gonna miss that money, but it's gonna be up to you to decide if you wanna spend that much to smell like this. They did a good job with this one. More to come on Sauvage Elixir as we move into the cooler months because this is gonna get some wearing. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. If you like the video, please like the video. If you want to improve your freshness, then you know what to do. You could buy this or you could just subscribe, join the Fresh Squad, become a member today. Would love to have you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.